everyone welcome back to the final video this is the final video this is video number eight which is our final flip through this is the open collaboration that i have done with melinda and melissa called hashtag one collection three styles 23 using christie's printables uh from facebook her facebook group called shabby chic um it is absolutely gorgeous 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 50 pages over 50 pages of beautiful shabby pink cuteness i mean it was just the paper was gorgeous um so we are here we have gone through all the parts from um doing our cover all the way down you know constructing our our project all the way down to today which is the final flip through I want to take a moment and thank my two co-hosts, uh, Melinda and Melissa, for being such troopers and going through um, the different categories here and just making it work. They made it work to their project. Um, of course, a playlist is in my description box. I also want to take a moment and thank um, Isabel from Crafting with Isabel for another you know, great support and being such a trooper and doing all the parts and not even understand well she understood what we were doing but um just going out there showing christy some support and um getting the kit and creating this beautiful beautiful journal everyone's projects from beginning to end have looked amazing and i'm super excited today to see um the actual flip through from all three ladies thank you so so much and i also want to thank everyone who's been um, watching, viewing, leaving beautiful comments. Um, I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope that at the end of this um, series, you found some value, some inspiration. And um, yeah, had fun. So here she is. She is completed. This is actually the one that we did together. And I think she looks super pretty. Look, you can see the shine in her eyes. This is um, the detachable cover. So, um, this has a home already. I did finish the dangle on the side. Did this for a Timu Tuesday. And I added some pink and white uh, beads with some um, bead spacers. These are the little hands that say handmade. Um, I added a uh, made with love and I usually add those kind of finishing touches those kind of charms on the shorter um, dangles here is this long one I found that long bead in my stash this one has a little crown and then this one over here has a heart with some green so I did bring in some greenish blue to kind of um off play with this one but everything else is the same but I did finish the beading and it sits beautifully on that tassel on that um, loop and then we did do the cover um, so we have the lace here on the side this is the metal ribbon um, this is a detachable cover and it's on glue dots and I don't want to start messing around with it too much but it is on glue dots added some pearls added some um, metal pieces here we have some of that um, really open webby trim from Dollar Tree I have an applique back here some flat back pearls some eyelash trim some of that webbing in white that we usually use for uh, Halloween I dyed it pink some corrugated cardboard did some stenciling this is some silver tone flat backs uh, some die cuts and some flowers here that I toned back. The album does measure seven by seven, and my spine. That quickly I forgot how big my spine is. My spine uh, was three and a half inches long, three and a half inches wide. So it is a seven by seven by three and a half, and it does have four pages. And this is the back. And then I use this creamy mauve um, 
ribbon to close it. Now once we add all the pictures, um, this will fill out and um, be more stable. Well, not stable, but have more weight to it. Um, so on all of these, well, most of these, I'm going to go back and do a second pass, but I did um, glitter some areas that I thought um, would be great as a standout. So I did the first two because that takes some time and it has to dry. Um, added the silver leaf trim here, the dye from Timu, some eyelash trim, and this beautiful applique that I've been having in my stash for a quite a while. We have a tag that I use as a, a, a tab. A tag that I use as a tab. Wow. And here you can see I accented that flower. This flips down. And then in this pocket, I did decorate it. I added some of that Timu lace and white. Added some eyelash trim behind here. I have a pink bow there. And then the silver trim. And then I have some photo mats back here. So this is the tags, nesting tags um, that I got from Timu on a brat. And I love this idea. This was... Um, inspired by Melinda Davis she does it in all her journals I have a photo mat here and then these you can tuck your picture underneath so they're not glued all the way down so your picture has like a decorative element hanging over it so those are the photo mats there okay and then this goes right there so that's the inside cover. Here I added the corners, the decorative corners. We have a tab down here. This flips up. Another corner. This flips down. We have a corner there and a corner here. This flips up. I left that one blank because we're really deep on the inside. Added a flourish here. Also a die from Timu. And that is the inside. So nothing on here. And this alternates and closes. Here is the photo mat for this one. And I think this paper is gorgeous. And all I did here was the scallop edge to give it a nice uh, look. On this side, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I got a frog in my throat. On this side, I did use this um, silver rope. Um, very pretty there. And when I glued it down, you can kind of uh, mesh it down so it's not so um, dimensional. So we have some photo mats here. And then a tag here in which I put a brad and I secured my, my ribbon. Okay. And then that goes there. And then I do have a tab down here. And this one flips up, and I left that blank on the inside with just decorative paper. On this side, we have another tab down here. This flips up, and I added some silver photo, uh, silver corners there and there, just to accent the page. And the photo mat for this one is the beautiful clock. And these photo mats are six and a quarter by six and a quarter, um, which shrunk it down a little bit because I did do the scallop edge when I did it with the punch here we are in the center you can see where I secured my um, my loop on the outside uh, we have a top here this opens up and then this opens up and I just put photo corners to accent there I keep calling them photo corners they silver corners silver corners Dahlia here we have a belly band I didn't have the heart to cover that and we have another photo mat here where you can slip your pictures underneath. Really pretty. And this goes in here. And then the photo mat for this one is this one. Beautiful paper. 
here I was going to do like a booklet with a ribbon tie here but I didn't want to cover it I thought it was really pretty so I just added this um, silver flourish down here that I also got from Timu here I did some stenciling I have a tag tab here with some eyelash trim added um, the silver corners there this flips this way I added a flourish here and then on this one I added the silver corner and then this flips up another silver corner and this flips down and you got this beautiful paper here and then the photo mat for this one is this and then on the back we have a stack pocket um, I did some stenciling, added some more of that um, silver flourish, added some pink and pearl bling here on, on top of some lace. Back here we have a photo mat, we have a tag um, nesting tabs, nesting tags that I just secured with a brad. And then another tag here with a white bride this time. And that's what the pocket looks like. And then we also have another photo mat. Lots of places to put pictures. Um, lots of places to be able to write little notes about what was going on. Um, little memories to go with it. And then on the back pocket, we have another one of these um, little stack tabs. Here I put some lace that uh, dyed from Timo. Some more, uh, another one of the ephemera from um, Christie's Printables. Um, if you do shabby chic in searching her uh, Facebook group, you will find everything and anything that she's done shabby. Uh, this is a tall pocket, so I added some lace. I added that silver trim. And inside this pocket, I have a large photo mat. Also, again, that you can um, stack behind. You can tuck pictures behind it. I just want to make sure I didn't glue this one all the way down. Yeah. So, And then we have another photo mat. Another photo mat. And then, of course, the, the tags. This one's gonna go there. This goes like that. And then this one sits right on top. And that's it, guys. That is the flip through of the one that we made together. However, I do have a surprise if you made it this far into the video. I did make two of them. So there is the one we made together and this is the one that I did behind the scenes and she is just as pretty this one the cover is secured all the way down and um, let me just move the one that we did together as a side very similar in fashion uh, same with the beadings uh, same with the charms same uh, loop uh, similar cover all the same material except this one's glued all the way down and I tuck some stuff underneath um, same closure uh, same collection the only thing is probably the papers have moved around to different spots so this one obviously is a little different um, but the decorations and everything are all the same same number of photo mats um, so I'll just flip through this one very quickly. Very pretty. This is the photo map for this one. Here we go with the pocket and then you can see the, so they're just a little different. This one had the ladies. I featured the ladies in this one. And I think they came out pretty. Here's another one. Same stenciling. Okay. This one I added the photo tags there. 
Uh, this is the photo mat. And I printed this one on my older uh, printer, and it looks like it's it's the colors don't seem as rich. I, I don't know. They, it's pretty. Oh, I think this was just the, the tones in this one. So I, I highlighted her here, the flower there, the flowers there. This is the belly band. All similar style. It's, it's the same. It's just the papers have changed a little bit. Here's the, the photo map for that one. Very pretty. Here is this one. And the photo map for that one. In this pocket, I added a tab here. Same bling, same um, same die cuts, uh, different stenciling, same stack pockets. This one I didn't do a nesting on this side, but I did it on this side. And um, yeah, that's it. That is my second album. Um, I really don't know what made me do two, but um, I love how they both turned out, and I love how the covers turned out, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed, <clears throat> excuse me, the series. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. It was absolutely amazing. I learned some things along the way. Um, some things not to do as well as some things that I absolutely love. And I think I will do another shabby chic project. Maybe not uh, soon because I am pinked out <laughs> for a little bit. Um, but I'm ready to cry for Halloween. So I hope you guys join us for the live discussion uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel with Melinda and Melissa. We will be discussing our experience with working with this collection, a series that ran so long. Um, some of our aha moments and some of our, you know, oh, I should have done, I shouldn't have done that moment. Because they always are there. All right, stay blessed, stay healthy, stay safe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And have a great, great day. Bye-bye.